it's okay to grieve, you guys. It's okay to let it out, okay? A lot of us are so tough. Or we go into denial, become workaholics. We don't let the pain out. A lot of times we feel really rushed to recover. We feel really rushed to let everyone know we're okay, we're okay, we're tough. We're not, you know, we don't want to go too far with an imbalance. We don't want to get too far to one side where we're in such a hurry to not seem toxic to anyone or to not stay in victim mentality that we never grieve, that we never cry, that we never let our sorrow out. And I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm a real one. I'm going to touch base with all of my emotions, okay? Just because I'm working on my healing, just because I'm aware of my emotions and my own toxic issues from the past and what I need to work on and aware of not wanting to stay in victim mentality, not wanting to stay stuck in the sorrow and the pain of the, the things that have happened to me and the losses and whatnot, it doesn't mean that I'm perfectly happy. It doesn't mean that I'm all the way over it or completely healed. I'm still a work in progress, okay? And so, it's okay to let it out sometimes. We mustn't forget that. We mustn't forget it. And I'm one of those people that I'm tough. I don't like to feel sorrow. I don't like to feel depression. I don't even like to cry. I really don't. And I hardly ever do. But once a month, during my menstrual, that's right, when I have PMS, that is when I really like to get off to myself and grieve and let it out. I use that time to do that, to touch base with those feelings because it's healthy. So don't ever forget that, okay? Just handle your emotions responsibly and appropriately. But it's okay sometimes to go ahead and be sad, to let it out, 